What's going on? It's Glenn and Cameron here again. And today we want to talk about fake news. How to retire in 10 years if you make $70,000 a year or more and you save 50 to 70% of that $75,000. Let's do the math. So half of $70,000 is 35,000. So you take 35,000, invest that in the market for 10 years. So that's going to be your principal is going to be 350K. Let's say you double your principal in the market, it's $700,000. That ain't enough to retire on. What you're setting yourself up is for a very cheap retirement. This is my problem with people in the fire movement. This is my problem with people who are pathologically cheap. It becomes an inherent lifestyle. And because you're retiring on such little money, you have to live a very cheap lifestyle. You can't splurge, you can't do anything because your income's fixed. And another fallacy with this is we are acting like the stock market is going to stay the same for the next 10 years. It's not, it's gonna be different, it's gonna change. And this is one of the things that many of the fire people don't take into account because uh, there was this article, this dude who, who moved in with his parents, freeloader to save this kind of money. He saved 1.2 million, he was doing all kinds of hustles, and essentially his income is $300,000 a year. You're making 300K a year. That's a totally different ball game than someone making 70K a year. If you're putting away half of your income at 350K, that's 150,000 a year. 10 years, the principal is 1.5 million in 10 years if you put 150k away. That's a whole different lifestyle. Even after taxes, you can still put some cheese on your Whopper. I have a different uh, thought process. Manage your money very well, start a business and make more money. This way you can enjoy your life and set your retirement up where it's enjoyable and you, you have more money. And there's this thing I call the perpetual business that you don't ever shut down this business and just sit down and do nothing. When I wrote my first book, I experienced retirement. I didn't have to do anything. I had a lot of money coming in. And you know what? I had, I had to find things to do. Just a sit down, do nothing retirement is not in the cards for Glendon Cameron. May not even be in the cards for you. What you should do, number one, is manage your money very well. Two, you need to get yourself some assets, preferably real estate or a business, something that throws off cash. Because the stock market, and I heard Grant Cardone say this, like, I don't understand trading one piece of paper for another piece of paper. I like real estate because it's real. And the thing is, if you get in a situation where, let's say you make it 300K a year, and you took 150K and bought a house every year, at the end of 10 years, you've got 10 houses that are paying you probably a thousand bucks a month. That's 10K a month. That's 120K a year. That's better than getting to a million dollars and being able to pull off 3.3, because you can't pull off 4%. You gotta pull off like 3.3%. So three point, that's like 3.3% of a million dollars is like 35K. So you can have $10,000 a month or you're gonna have 35K. Same money, it's just put in a different channel. Uh, one of the things that I look at is sustainability. The stock market has its ups, its downs, its highs, its lows. It's not sustainable. It is just not. Because let's say 
you, you're doing the fire method. You put money into the stock market, then you get ready to retire and the market's down. Guess what? You can't retire. But if you were putting this money in real estate or a business that something that throws off a lot of cash, wouldn't matter if the stock market went down. Wouldn't matter if real estate crashed because if you took 150K a year and bought a house and paid cash for it, and th this is another thing. A lot of these people don't want to pony up and pay cash for stuff. Uh, once again, I pay cash for my cars. I'm gonna tell you why I pay cash for my cars. Number one, I had an asset that was throwing off a lot of cash. Number two, I don't like a bunch of payments. I got a few credit cards that I use that I keep up with and I have to make those monthly payments or pay them off when I use them. I don't write a lot of checks per month because I don't have a lot of bills. But those two cars in that garage over there are paid off and if like one of the things when I had my heart attack, that's one less thing to worry about. Oh, we gotta pay these car notes. Don't have to pay them. They were paid for when I drove them off the lot. Become a person with the ability, because the thought process is, why take that money and pay off a car when you can take that money and put it in other places? My thought process is having an asset that throws off so much money, it doesn't matter. My business just throws off the money. I don't even need, I can live on seven, eight percent of my income just fine. That, that pays all the bills around here. That's where you want to be. <coughs> you want to be in a situation where you can pay cash for stuff because once again, I firmly believe that this is the best way. Paying cash for stuff you can pay cash for. Rocking and rolling that way, manage your money very well, and making more money. Once you begin to make more money, all kinds of opportunities expand. I don't believe in this pathologically cheap stuff. Uh, I feel that life is short. I, I, I feel that I'm on my third chance because I've almost died once before. And life is sweet. Life should be enjoyed. You should have fun. You should get the things that make you happy. And this pathologically cheap thing. And what I really find fear, what I really find to be very bad, in my opinion, is how they bring these attitudes to their children. The children grow up pathologically cheap, thinking that opportunity costs for every dollar that they spent. Like, I got this painting here. It was like 120 bucks, 200 bucks. I, I really have to think about that. I don't really have to think about anything under $10,000. I can go and buy it. If I want it, I, I see it and I need it. But to become pathologically cheap is to become a habit. I'm one of the people who don't see the point in having $10 million and not spending it because I'm worried about what other people are going to perceive me. Because, you know, this is everyone's fantasy. The millionaire next door makes $10 million, he drives a regular car. And, like, shout out to the person who got the thing with Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard uh, talking about he drives his truck. The truck has an LS swap. It has a Corvette engine that cost about 40K. Ain't a regular truck. Ain't a regular truck. People don't want to deal with the reality that they're working class and that they're poor. So they want to assume that millionaires are not very different from them. I'm here to tell you, I live in a neighborhood full of millionaires. Lifestyle's way different. There are luxury cars. Big houses, sparkling pools, nice manicured lawns. It's a different lifestyle. And I think the millionaires in my neighborhood are able to flex because there's so many people of similar incomes in the neighborhood because you go ahead and you build this 
$2.5 million mansion across the street from this $2.5 million mansion, they ain't going to be looking at you crazy. They're like, oh, that's nice. It makes the neighborhood look nice. Poor people have got to get over being poor. Poor people have got to stop conjuring up these lessons. <coughs> conjuring up this conceived thought that millionaires just have a lot of money, but they live just like they do. They, they drive the same cars that they do. I'm, I'm here to tell you. No, you don't. One of my neighbors has a yacht. He has a 130-foot yacht. Look at how much that costs. He has a condo in Florida, not too far from his yacht. Just Google what a 130-foot yacht cost. And uh, he has a company. He has, you know, I've been invited down on this yacht life. You know, I may take him advantage up on it. But the lives are different. And here's the thing. Your life could be different if you do different things. If you, and number one, manage your money very well, number two, start a business. Starting a business is the only way that you can handle the tax load. Let's say you make $150,000 on the job. You get raped by taxes. Taxes are taking 50 to 60K. If you made that same $150,000 with a business, you can save yourself 30, 40K that you can apply and put into something else. Anyone that gives you financial advice and doesn't deal with taxes is doing you a horrible disservice. And the only way that you're going to get tax benefits is to start a business. That's the only way. So enough of this cheap, pathologically cheap stuff I'm seeing all over the internet. I feel that making more money is a smoother, easier, digestible path than living like a monk. Um, one of the things is like, you know, in a period of your life, you may have to have 10 roommates for a year or two. This should not be something that goes on and on and on for your whole life where you're living like a monk. And one of the things that I find to be intriguing is the pathologically cheap scarcity mindset. It is at odds with having a lot of money. Having a pathologically cheap mindset and you're going to have millions of dollars in investments, someone else is going to spend that money because you're too cheap to spend that money. That's just funny. If you leave the money to someone, if you ain't that cheap. So for those of you who are still here, go below this video, get the free audio book, and there are courses. Many people come to the channel, hey Glennon, uh, where do I start? I want to start taking courses. There is a pathway below of the courses you should take to give you the foundation to build your business. They're affordable. You know, even if you make it minimum wage, you can afford these courses and you can buy them one at a time. They're not going to break you and they're going to open up your mind. They're going to expand your possibilities, your abilities and get you in this business life. So those are below. Those are for you. And there's more stuff that's coming. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And 
what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. Now I keep telling everybody that I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a console because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, becoming the boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to, what's a priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get, Scripted Days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2,500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resell. 
how to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is I had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This is like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to... Um, Believe in yourself. Mike Kelly. this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. 
And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those are only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of stuff is side hustle stuff, uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People that thirst, you know, that 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 thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I've got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glennon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses, then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.